To check out all the episodes of Barbecue Country and a whole lot more, download the Country Network app on your favorite platform. Summertime is here, and the sweet smell of smoke is filling the air. And to kick it off, 12 nationally acclaimed pitmasters and 12 backyard cooks are pairing up to bring you the greatest backyard cooking show in America. This is Barbecue Country. Episode four. What you thinking? Port. Port. Cheshire Port today. It's one of my favorites. So it sounds like they're going to give us a good... Hopefully, maybe a tomahawk. Hey, a that's what I'm talking about. I want to see what they put with it. Let's do it. See how they braid the elements today. How are y'all? A little damp out there. Yeah, a little damp. Thank you. Well, we're in Fiddler's Grove, Lebanon, Tennessee, and I found two fantastic pit masters. Misty and Ronald are ready to take on the challenge of finding America's best backyard cook. Guys, first you have to go through a couple of people sitting at this table. Let me introduce you to Mark Lambert, seven-time world champion, sweet swine of mine. And sitting beside him, another Americana, singer-songwriter, American backyard performer, Mr. Peyton Aldridge. Here's your challenge today. Take two of the best backyard cooks in America and make them even better, because you're in barbecue country. That's right. So, I don't know if they told you yet, but you're cooking some wonderful Cheshire port today. Great. So it's up to you guys to kind of decide how you're going to prepare it, which side you're going to do, or if you're going to do both of them. Yeah. You know, if you're going to prepare it one way, two way, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, you guys need to elevate their game. Help them out in any way you can. There's no holes barred. You don't, there's nothing you can't do to help them. When we get into the pit area, everything that's there is for you to use at your discretion as you need it. Use it all wisely. Use your time wisely. Um, and most of all, have fun and help them win. You guys are going to sit down right here with the cooks and uh, with representative from Cheshire Pork, and we're going to sample that awesome dish. And we're going to talk about the good, bad, and the ugly, and uh, we're going to decide who wins and moves on to the uh, finale round. Exciting. Perfect. Great. Awesome. Can't well, guys, that's enough talking. Let's get to cooking and find America's Backyard Do it. Cook. Do it. I'm ready. Let's go. Well, Jason, Brittany, you're in barbecue country. Seven-time world champion, better known as Sweet Swine on Mine, Mark Lambert. Nice to meet you. Recording artist, singer-songwriter, American Backyard, Peyton Aldridge. Your challenge today is to blow their socks off because you're in barbecue country. I'm so glad you guys are here. It's a little cool, but these guys are here to really help you elevate your backyard game today. You haven't seen what you're cooking today yet. We've got two beautiful Cheshire racks of pork, and we can't wait to see what you're gonna do with them. And I can't wait to eat. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can use everything that's in front of you, behind you and around you, in the pantry. If you need it, it's here for use at your disposal, right? Use all of these resources and your time, most of all, very wisely, because time gets away from you. You may think you have two hours, and you do, but it goes by in the blink of an eye. When you guys get ready to turn everything in, we're gonna bring it back inside and we're gonna sit down and we're gonna judge it all down together, family style. So there's eight of us, make sure there's enough for eight, but that's all you really have to worry about. You can turn it in in any way, shape or form that you see fit to be judged. All right now, Ronald, you're cooking with Brittany. All right, good. Misty, you're cooking with Jason. You guys get after it, we can't wait to see what you do. Time good slows down, go, go. Hey, I'm Ronald Burns. Hi, Brittany, yeah. nice to meet hey, you. Hey, nice to meet you too. What's your idea on uh, sides? Well, I kind of was thinking a little bit of Fiji apples wrapped in with prosciutto okay. and some goat cheese on top with okay. a uh, spicy honey. Okay. I'm Brittany Bojack, born and raised in New Jersey. Right now I live right outside of Baltimore, Maryland. I love to cook. 
because there's nothing better than bringing people together than feeding them. My idea, let me just tell you my idea. Okay. We've got basically two hours, okay? We can't cook this thing whole, <laughs> but we could third it, okay. inject it. We can get that pork out, take a look at it. Trim it and, up and uh, then get trim it, it up. All yeah, because we need to get that on the smoker. Okay. So my pit master is Ron Burns, and the irony through all of this is I did not know who my pit master was going to be, but the only reason I found out about this show was because he had posted on his Facebook that he was one of the pit masters for this show. And lo and behold, we get paired together. This Chelshire pork, it's a great cut of pork. It's looking good. Let's look at the other side, see what the fat cap, I wanna keep some of that on. Hey, I'm Ronald Burns. I'm pit master with Hotty Toddy Barbecue Crew out of Merida, Mississippi. I've been competing in competition barbecue for over 10 years, competition steak for four years. We've won multiple first place, multiple grand championships, and we just love cooking in the outdoors. Once we get this ready, if you want to get your sides, I'm going to take a little bit of that. Not enough, not, not much, because I want the flavor to stay, because uh, fat's flavor, right? Yes. Especially in this Chowshire pork here. Well, you know, obviously I'm from the South and we love backyard cooking. It brings family, friends together, and uh, that's why we love to do it. Hey guys, I got one more curveball to throw at you. I want to say it's a curveball, but today this challenge has to include sweet rub of mine or sweet sauce of mine in some fashion. So how you incorporate those two products, whether it be apple chipotle, original, Texas beef, roasted garlic, and any one of the sauces, including the Wilsonshire sauce, that will go into your overall score of how well you utilize that product in your dish. Good luck. All right, here we go. Sweet Swine of Mine Original. It's got some great color, I know, because I've used it before. That's some beautiful looking pork, ain't it? Nothing like a big old rack of pork. You can cut them as thick as you want them. Thick as you want them. It's such a pleasure nice to, meet to meet you. I cannot wait to cook with you. We're going to have some fun today. This, yes. We're going to make something delicious. I would love to hear what you came to the table with. What are your ideas for side dishes really quickly? And we'll go straight into the pork. Okay. I have cucumber and sour cream, uh, or I have a Brussels sprouts, or cauliflower steaks. Oh, perfect. Okay. My name is Jason Haling. Uh, I'm from Oxford, Arkansas. I like to cook. It just brings people together. I've always enjoyed cooking. I've been cooking since I was young. Never worked with the tin bone pork okay. before, but uh, we can do that. Okay, let's grab that. Let's see what we're working with first. Cheshire pork, um, I have cooked it before. It is a wonderful cut and very high quality meat. Usually has a lot of inner, internal marbling, uh, fantastic flavor. It's a very good product to work with. See if we need to trim it at all. It doesn't look like a whole lot yes. of trimming is necessary. The pork looks really nice. I'm Misty Bancaro. I'm from Seattle, Washington. Some people know me as Seattle Butcher's Wife on social media. When I do pork like this, I'm usually smoking it and then searing it because we only have about an hour or so <laughs> to do this cook. That's not enough time to do a full rack it really well. So we need to probably get to right away carving this out and Frenching the bones. Okay. I mean, unless you have a different idea. Uh, no. And I'm wondering, do we cut it into two racks? And with two, only two, once you French them, we could actually cut them into pork steaks. I spend most of my time creating content on social media with all kinds of meats, primarily. And our family has a meat processing facility in Seattle. So I am technically the butcher's wife, really married into a fourth generation meat company. You feel good about the Frenching or you want me to help out with that? I can see you probably help out with that. Since okay. I never French. Okay. Well, I'll get into it. And then um, maybe what we can do is whatever the side that you want to do or the cauliflower steaks, we can start prepping that and rubbing it oil and put it in a pan so it's ready just to go into the smoker. Because once it's cooked, it can stay there. Hey, if y'all want to cook extra, that's fine too for me. Do extra for you. Appetizers, you know. Only if you make up a song. Play <laughs> Misty for me. <laughs> Elevate your barbecue with Royal Oak 100% charcoal pellets. The only 100% charcoal pellet in the market that delivers the authentic barbecue flavor you love. Charcoal pellets produce better flavor, higher heat, and are even water resistant so they won't clog your grill unlike ordinary wood pellets. Plus, 100% charcoal pellets are safe to use in all pellet grills. Unleash your inner pit master and make the switch today from the ordinary to the extraordinary with Royal Oak 100% charcoal pellets. Hi. 
I'm Jason Haling, and this is Barbecue Country. We're gonna take this and uh, we're gonna inject it. Yep. And uh, we're gonna try to cut this oh, in, uh, in maybe half or thirds. Yep. And uh, get it on the smoker. Um, try to get at least an hour yep. uh, at least. Yep. And uh, then we're gonna come back and uh, we're gonna take this thing apart and then sear it up. That's what I'm talking about. And it's gonna be, be backyard style. Ain't no doubt. Y'all figured out what y'all gonna do for a side yet? Do a potato hash with, yes. with a sunny yes. side egg. We <laughs> <laughs> got you, got you. Got you. But I grew up with the Jersey Shore and all we do is breakfast. I tell you what, YouTube can't teach you this right here. Negative. Hands on, in person. Well, I think once you get the bones French, it'll look cool, and then you can um, cook these individually. And in order to cook them hot and fast, I mean, we can put them on the smoker for a little while with some rub, but we should glaze them. We're gonna make sure our charcoal grill is ready to go, then we're gonna try to sear it off at the end. That's nice gonna give marks. us a, an advantage there, we hope. So what y'all doing for side today? Well, we're going to go with vegetables, okay. and one of the th options that we have is a cauliflower steak idea okay. to get something crunchy and yep. fresh to go with the pork. This is his first time with a, a piece of pork like this, so yep. it's really exciting. Yeah, It's a big piece, but we also are in a time crunch, so we have to be careful about what we want to do with it versus what we have time for. Yep. Do you want to try to French it, or do you want to just cut it and then wh whatever you want to do it, you tell me. Mm. We're going up against a butcher here, so we got to make sure, you know, that's what's going to happen right now. <sighs> I really was thinking fatties. I wanted to stuff it, but... Meat with a handle. Mm -hmm. Meat with a handle. Lollipops. Oh, about cake, Lollipops. Man, Grab that that's bone right. and eat it right off of there. Meat with mm -hmm. a handle, that's right. And we don't want to make you mad. You just let it skid us down all the way to the bone. Like you sure. definitely <laughs> don't. <laughs> well, I'm nice only until you get me mad. I'm not always nice. All right, let's see. It's not reading. Why is it not reading? We're not working here. Oh, it's kinked. Oh, is it? You know what's missing is music, but we do have a singer in the house. <laughs> I want as much grill and smoke flavor as I can in all this everything. All right, that's twice you've been on my side now. I'm gonna cut you off. Go ahead and try, sister. <laughs> Is that warm? I need that duck fat to get warm. Don't let me forget that, because it'll probably blow through the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> we'll really have a show. <laughs> yeah, really have a show then. Right, it's not a show until you break something. Exactly, exactly. This thing's coming over here. Hey, coming along? Coming good, yes. We've got our uh, Cheshire pork yep. going on, and Brittany's working on her side, and uh, I'm gonna try to help her get the grill grates seasoned up for later, and uh, that way we can be ready to Ain't no put doubt. that last finishing touch on it. It tastes very garlicky. I feel like this is what I would have put on my beef. All right, no, I don't like that one. Don't like that one? No, too hot, too peppery. I could probably do it lightly, so we're doing the requirement and then do the rest of something else. Mmm, okay. Sprinkle a little bit, maybe this, into the rub, so we say we used it or something. Tell you what, they rolling over here. All right. Oh, I'm telling you. They are rolling. That's a good thing. They are rolling. You got apples in there, too, somehow. Yeah. I think I might do a little um, grilled apple wrapped in prosciutto with um, goat cheese and a spicy honey. I can get all that. That sounds really so good. So it'll go nice with the hash with the little side, you know? Pretty much like a bacon wrapped yeah. apple. Right. Apple away keeps the doctor away, ain't sure that right? Sure it is. I mean, I got the time for it, why not? Yep. All righty, so let's do this. Let's make sure that we have some seasoning on the back too. Fully seasoned and ready to rock. You got your plan working? Is it all, everything good? You know what oh, you're doing? Oh, it's going. Everything it's going. Everybody happy? It's happening. I like yeah, it. We're all happy. Right. We're ready. About to put the meat on. Everybody yep. happy? Everything good? Yes. Yeah. All right. I'm glad you got your plan together. So we're using everything in it, right? Right. Yeah. Good job, yeah. Brittany. All right, we got a little twist, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, no. oh, no. I just heard from each of you that it's all under control, so guess what? <laughs> Ronald? Oh wait, Misty? no it's not. It's not under control. You guys can come up to the party table and watch from up there. <laughs> Stop what you're doing. What? Stop, Stop what you're doing. Me. At that 
here's the thing, it's not all done. Each of you have the opportunity to make a call, just one of these, but either one of you can call a three minute save. At any point that you get ready, you can say help, and you get three minutes to come down and bail each other out. And if you get worried, you can come in and save. Okay. All right, so y'all make your way to the party table and get ready for your save. Have fun ride. All right, Misty Ronald, y'all come and join me at the party table. Here we go. You're gonna cook them whole until you get them to 140. Okay. Then you're gonna pull them off at 140 and sear them till they get to Leaving on that midnight train. Peyton, can I have a little bit of the midnight train yeah, to Georgia for On a midnight train to Georgia. That's a, that's a too many penalty now. This is where it gets real. <laughs> oh man. Well, I still had things I wanted to share with them. I still had things I wanted to collaborate on. So okay. there was still conversation to be had. I was in rush mode to get the meat on. And I think with that, I failed to walk through some of the finishing steps. Yeah, you know, I think we've, we've got our pork um, on and uh, really she's got a great plan for, you know, the side. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, if anything, just kind of the finish up there and, uh, you know, I think that's gonna go cool. Got a little over an hour, y'all, I believe, so you, you're good. Well, tell me about the products in the pit, starting with Cheshire pork. What did you think about that? I think it's great. Um, it's a, a cut of meat that is pretty relatively easy to cook. You just have to figure out how to do it within the time allotment. With a piece of pork that beautiful, you want to do something big and elaborate and smoke it low and you know make it a little fancy and you may or may not have time to do that in this competition. So I think it's like, what can we do in the amount of time that we have with this beautiful cut of pork? You know, the, the Chelshaw pork, you know, comes from generations of family in, in the Carolinas. Uh, they take great pride in raising, you know, those pork. And man, that, that rib loin we had was phenomenal. Uh, we tried to pack as much flavor as we could, you know, in there. Mm -hmm. But after all, you know, it's, it's just meat. It's just pork, right? Well, we want the pork to stand out. It yeah. kind of looked like you guys were doing the same thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she was looking at him and he was looking at her and y'all were focused on trying not to cut a finger off. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, that's important. I saw that. So what's your thoughts? You feeling more a little worried or anything like that? You got this under control. This ain't your first rodeo, is it? Uh, we'll be all right. Hey, uh, Jason, Brittany, do you think everything in the pit was used to your advantage so far? What's that big board there? That looks like a chalkboard. Ask your pit master, why didn't they make <laughs> notes on that? That would have been perfect. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. You know what? I'll give you one extra. If you need it, why don't you write help on there? <laughs> we were too busy, right? We were too busy. We were too busy to time. write. Get yeah. the meat on the grill. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, good catch. Good catch. <laughs> Guys, you can go ahead and, and pre-ask your questions on the chalkboard so when you do get a save, they can answer those. Okay. <laughs> she said, okay. <laughs> okay. We'll have this dying question right oh, now. Oh, here we go. You're the first to use the chalkboard. She said, what is the onion for? Oh, what's onion for? No, I, you're using your save? I thought it was the flavor of my charcoal, but. Maybe, maybe you put, not. You put onion in your hash? Well, I do, but I have another onion that's oh, smoking okay. right now. Oh, here we go. She got those onions. Now the question. So I've got that going, but I'm thinking it's the flavor of my charcoal. Could be. Could be. Onion on the fire smells good. And in my eyes. I think all in all, we at Barbecue Country gave them the best opportunity to, to be a champion yes. today. Yes, yes, I agree. And then we add in two champions. Yep. And all you had to do was show up and yep. show off. That's it. Right? Yeah, that's it. I'm getting a little nervous about it over here. Yeah, I know. There's no crying in barbecue. No crying in barbecue. Anybody feel like they need a save? Y'all see anything? She's crying and she got little tears over here. It's that's why she needs a little help. It's <laughs> Jason, remember, the wheat get eat. I can't get nothing out of him. You can call for help anytime you want to. But I have a strategy. You got a strategy. What's You're that? trying to change my strategy here. Okay. I don't want to call too early. Well, you don't want to call too late either. Though. How long is this, like, what's my time frame of using it? You got three minutes. <laughs> LA
Elevate your barbecue with Royal Oak Charcoal for the ultimate flavor experience. Royal Oak Charcoal gives your food the authentic barbecue flavor you love. Royal Oak making phenomenal products. I love that it's American. I love that flavor in the char. The original red bag, that's the one brand that I've ran to. Unleash your inner pit master with Royal Oak and use the charcoal trusted by barbecue pros and backyard grillers. Visit RoyalOak.com for recipes from the best pit masters in barbecue and to find a retailer near you. Hi, I'm Misty Bancaro and you are in barbecue country. You need a save? She might need some help down here. I don't think so yet. I want to wait just a little bit longer. You need a save? She's freaking out a No, I think she's good right now. She's got everything on. That's the main thing. What about that meat over there, Mark? What you think? You think it's, going, you think it's hot enough over there? No. Here's what we're going to do. Y'all y'all hang tight. you got one opportunity to send a message to your pit. You do it through him. Do you trust him? You can give him one thing to tell your pit master. Now, whether he believes you or not, remember, <laughs> you're going to get the same opportunity. So, okay. Misty, yeah. I'm going to let can you I go first. Can I say many first. things in one no. sentence? you got one line, tagline, or to do, and Ronald's going to tell your backyard cook. So, give it to him. Tell him to slice yeah. the pork and sear it on the tribal fire. Okay. You can sell it or you can blow it. Jason, be sure to slice your pork and sear it off on the tribal fire. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why am I taking advice from him? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that took you long enough, just saying. I was over here like, go ahead, go yes. for it. Brittany, you better watch the temperatures on both grills. I got this. <laughs> did you, hey, Brittany, Brittany, did you go? <laughs> Do you believe her? I mean, we're look, coming up. That's look where it's I'm coming from. I'm my time when I think they're at the right time. But who did so it come from? I know, but you know, sometimes women have to stick together in this world. <laughs> good answer. Oh, really good answer. That turned out to be good a sweet answer. real quick. So we brought you guys in from a rainy day Fiddler's Grove. Is this affecting the cook? <sighs> it's affecting my fingers more than it is my cook. <laughs> well, what do you think about this Royal Oak product? I mean, we've got some pellets mm -hmm. that you can just throw out in that puddle of water. It's not gonna hurt anything. I love the royal. Well, I'm glad to know that since well, it's all we had today was water around here. You don't think the rain's going to hurt the cook any? No, nah. it's playing for. Okay. It's colder in Jersey than it is down here. I think she's confident. Uh, you know, we've got the we got the meat on. That was a big thing to me. Yep. And uh, you know, she's got a plan. We talked about the plan, and I'm good. How much time do we have? 50 minutes or so. You got about 50 minutes from what Mr. Mark Lambert says. You guys are way too calm for a lot of things I see. 50 minutes is not a lot of time. You know what cures that calmness though, right? <laughs> a little party yeah. bash right here. Uh, party bash, party right. bash cures I'm everything. telling you guys, 50 minutes is yeah. uh, maybe 40 minutes. Yeah. Is not a lot of time. They don't look like they're where they need to be. When you do a save, do you just get to go in there and do something with them? You get to run in the pit and do everything for you how want long? for three minutes. Okay. I, I mean, think I gotta wait until it gets a little bit closer. Yeah. Uh, I'm afraid for those final moments. Well, if we run in now, um, you know, there's still a lot to do. Else. But what I'm saying is, at the finish, mm -hmm. that's where I think that's where I think we where need to. Yes. He was worried about your temperature over here. I'm gonna wait till I get a little higher, and. Reason is, is because if I want to get a sear, I'm going to want to get up towards 400, 500 to sear. But do you think that made it get done? That one I'm a little bit worried about. I might have to break them apart a little more. Hey guys, what temperature are you planning on cooking this meat at? Because I can see the temps on those yoders right now and it doesn't look like you're going to do anything to that pork. I'm coming up the temp right now to sear them. Okay, well let me tell you this. So now that you're doing what you're doing, you got about 20 minutes. Till another curve or? No, you got about 20 minutes. All right. Man, seriously? Y'all right. better crank it up. I'll take my three minutes. Okay, you want your three minutes? Ring that and go in. Ring it loud. All I'll the way up. to there, the ring table. it. Ronald, you can help her in any way you want. 
I think we're gonna have to break those bones down. Yeah. That's my fear. Yeah. So if you can help me with that, that way I can finish yeah. the side. Yeah, you go ahead and finish the side. Okay. Let's break it down. I need to go in there too, so I need that pan to tap. Oh, <laughs> this is the first on barbecue country. We got a double save going on. Take off. Go in there all the way. Hard. A double save in the house. <laughs> he said he didn't need it right now. All right, let's do it. If you only have 20 minutes, I need to help any way I can. Yep. So we got the meat in the smoker? Yeah, and it's switching over to the pellet, and I got the temperature jacked up to about 400 because okay. it was, that one was falling out of space, couldn't get it going, so. Okay. So we're going to cook it on the pellet the smoker, and we're going to sear it on the tribal, tribal fire? Yep. Okay. So tell me what you want me to do. Break it down? I think break it down so it gets cooked in time. I did crank it up, but, yeah, but it's, I don't know if that's going to be enough. I want to see where we are. You know, the problem was it was frozen when we started. What are they doing? Well, I mean, they're not paying attention to their fire. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's cold, and that's that is key. When it's cold out here, the fire is important. You got to make sure you you keep that royal oak filled up. Oh, well, they are really cold in the center, so thank goodness. So we're going to put them back in. Put and when we put them in, we're gonna glaze the sides with the glaze. Do you have a glaze prepared yep. or is there one in motion? Okay. What you think? You think it'll get done? Hi. Right. Well, from what you tell me, no. Unless look, look, unless look, look, you look. can you gotta see her quick look right now. Oh, he's doing it. Yeah. He gotta go ahead and cut it. Hey so Brittany, you watching this? Watching this what? is a, a trained pit master right here. He's gonna cut it so he Oh, can right here? It. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, do you want do you want me to lay the bone on there? Or cut the well, loin out. Judging the time, what do you think? Well, it's gonna be hard. I know bones flavor, but they're not cooked at all. So we got the smoke flavor. You need what? Four minutes, two, 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 yeah. in order to cut it to 135, 140, yeah. correct? Right. All right, guys, y'all got about a minute left. What you think? Time's ticking. I think leave them on the bone. I don't think you guys are gonna get done. Really? One minute? Mr. Burns. Your time's up. It's okay, I got okay, it. Okay, you got it? Yep. All right, you group right, it's ready there. All right, sir, we need you up here. Use the infrared right here and see what it is. Yeah. You want a four seven. On top. So we gotta get the glaze, glaze those up. Hey, Misty, he's leaving, so you know you're not far behind him, right? Now we gotta check the temps, because okay. I'm worried these are gonna be overcooked. Oh. All right, Misty. Time okay, isn't? I'll get out of the I way. I need you up here with us. Okay, so these are not glazed. Oh, they're cooking down there now. But we gotta check the tips on those babies. Look, I've seen some smoke in there. I think she's got this. Come on. Here we go. What's going on? So what really there? happened when you went down there? What, 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 what do you think you're at and where do you think you're going? I think the inside of the pork still has a long way to go. What are you yeah. thinking? Oh yeah, the same thing. I mean, you know, the the, the pork was was um, you know really cold, and it you know it takes a lot to overcome that in a short amount of time. Hey, did that save help you guys? Yes. Yes. I noticed you both of your your pitmasters left you a bunch of notes on the chalkboard. Did y'all see that? Ah, I got, oh, what's the onion for? Mental notes, right? Where you at? Are you gonna make it? I mean, you got about ten minutes left. No comment. <laughs> They're focused. I'd be scared too. <laughs> They're focused. No comment. <laughs> so you got about 10 minutes left. Have you thought about plating it? Have you thought about anything like that? Did they give us plates? No, it's a backyard barbecue style, just like you take it off at home. How are you going to bring it to the kitchen table? Well, where I there. come from, it's always got to be plated. Okay. But the good thing about this, we ain't judging on presentation. You're always judging presentation. We're judging on how good something is today. I'm gonna be nice. You're gonna be nice? And we're gonna give you one more shout out from up here at the party table. Oh my goodness. Misty, have at it. I guess to say one more thing. Just, Just say what thing. you want to. Okay, Jason. Um, make sure all the vegetables are done all the way through, that there's no crunchy left, and whatever side you go with, just make sure it's done all the way. All right, Ronald. Brittany, watch the temp, the internal temp on your uh, pork chops. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Peyton. Yeah. I heard you could sing a little song from my pitmasters up here. Yeah. Okay. Let's a little come encouragement. Let's, come on. Let's see what we got working today. I think we got a guitar around here somewhere. Can you pick a little bit? 
No, I, I might can pick a little bit. This could be your friend later. It's a little daunting, <laughs> but all you gotta do is turn this little knob right here until you hear a little hiss. And it can help you. You trust me with something like that? Sure, I'm gonna be up there. <laughs> Far away from the woman with fire, right? I get it. Well guys, we want you to know that the reason why he's here, you got a little rainy night in Georgia, or what do you got? Just anything. Think some old Johnny Cash oh, today. Yeah. What y'all think? So, this is the reason why we got Peyton Aldridge, not only from barbecue country, but let it loose, son. Well, I hear that train a coming, and it's coming around the bend. And I ain't seen no sunshine since I don't know when. Well, I'm stuck in Folsom Prison. It's time keeps dragging on. Well, when I hear that whistle blowing, all down to sand and tone. Hey, hey. Woo! I think they beg to differ with you. I don't think time's dragging on. <laughs> Guys, y'all got a few more minutes left. You looking okay? Hi, I'm Brittany Bojack, and this is Barbecue Country. Guys, y'all got a few more minutes left. You looking okay? No, a little behind. Nope. That's okay. <laughs> I don't know if you want to think about it. That's okay. Honesty is the best policy, buddy. It's looking good so far. What do y'all think? Come on, I'm excited. Yeah. People are gonna make it happen. They're gonna make it? I, yeah. don't think, I just don't think I think the song it. was encouraging. Jason, you look a little nervous down there. Well, we're running out of space. She's gonna have to move her stuff or lose it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brittany, you got that yoder cranked up as high as it'll go? I seen some planes. I hear the sear from up here. Up here. That's what I like to hear. Oh, yeah. We are looking for the best of the best. Exactly. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Look at that steam. Look at that steam. All right. But when there's that much steam, you know what's not happening? Browning. Browning. Guys, y'all catch another gear and start thinking about getting this stuff plated up here shortly, okay? On a scale of 1 to 10, how high is their heart rate right now? Oh, it's, it's, it's <laughs> what about your heart rate? <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous for her. I'm telling you. I'm right. nervous for her. What do you think they could have done to be way ahead of where they're at now? I think they could have managed the fire a little closely. Watch the fire. The mm -hmm. If they had managed that, that fire a little better, I think they would be a little further along. Five minutes to start plating, OK? 10 minutes till I start eating. She's starting Ooh, to fry an egg. Nice. Oh, we're getting that okay. sunny side oh, egg now. Oh, look at here. Look at here. She's got it going on. She's cool as a cucumber. Hey, watch this. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. All right, guys, we need to start thinking about plating the food. Here we go. Let's start wrapping this up. Do you think we got one of the best backyard cooks in America? Yeah, right here. I believe so. I believe so. Oh, I know we got one of them. Look at that. Is that a winner right there? That's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Back to your purpose here is to take these people that are in the backyards of America and giving them just one thing that drives them to continue to cook. Right. Yep. Do you think you did that today? Yeah, I think so. I think this whole process, Russ, you know, we're, we're here on a, on a back patio anywhere USA. Yeah. We're going to end up at a family style table anywhere USA, yeah. enjoying oh. the food that's been prepared out there. Okay. Yeah, I think we have. I think, number one, I think the show has really produced that. So, yes. yeah, so. I agree. Super pumped. What do you think, Jason? Look at that. I thought she was coming after you with that. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. All right. <laughs> At least I ain't got to worry about catching my hair on fire. All right, guys, we need to wrap it up. Here we go. Plate it. We're going to the host table. I'm ready to chow down. Man, I can't wait to see how this turned out. Hey, guys, barbecue country is on. getting real now. Let's do it. Yeah. We've got... Uh, Two great pit masters and two backyards that are gonna wow you guys today. We're gonna go family style and we're gonna eat some good food today, I hope. Let's do it. Guys, here's what we are sampling today. 
Wow. There ain't gonna be no more samples mm. after today. Today, Jordan with Cheshire is at the table with us. He's gonna find out how well you guys cooked. Let's say a blessing so we can try this good food. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for these people and the hands that prepared it. Thank you for this food. Thank you for their safe passage here. Watch over and care for each of these people as they travel back home to their families. Please help each one of these people here be a shining light for you. And most of all, thank you for your son that died on the cross to save our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, Mark, which one are we going to dig into first? Let's do the first one we got here. You've done a real nice job of illustrating how to cook pork with low and slow. But it's got a really good bite to it. It's got a really good chew to it. Being from the south, I like more glaze, but the flavor is, is really good. I love the cucumber salad. Roasted cauliflower, I think that it was perfect. The cauliflower was a little salty for my liking. Well, y'all ready to try Brittany's out? All right, Brittany, you're up. I can taste the smoke. I really like the flavor of the sauce and the crust. I think you absolutely nailed it. I am the hottie, he is the toddy. <laughs> <laughs> Potato hash with a sunny side egg on top. Mmm. My, my, my. Good. I'm telling you, y'all did it right for sure, let's be honest. You both made it tough on us. What we're going to do now is we're going to ask you to um, leave the table and go to the gas station, and we're going to decide who's moving on to the semifinals in barbecue country. Guys, what did you think about the cook today? I thought it was great. There was a lot of good food that came out of it in a short amount of time. Yeah, you know, that Chowsire pork loin was a, a great product. Uh, you know, looking back on it, you know, I think that for us, I think it would have been better if we had separated first, but we all got it done, so it was yeah. great. When we were able to cut it, and when the smoke started coming out of the yoder, and I heard the searing from the stage, yeah. I knew we were ready and we were going to be in for a great bite. Well, you know, let's talk about the sides. You know, you guys sides with the cauliflower, the, the salad you, you uh, prepared, uh, you with the potatoes, onions, peppers, egg, fried <laughs> egg. Wow, that was talk, talk us through that. I mean, I'm from the Jersey Shore, so everything <laughs> is breakfast, and so pork. I think breakfast hash, so yeah. you gotta have an egg yeah. with it. How y'all feeling? Good, good, yeah. good, excited. I know y'all wonder who won today, but we're gonna tell you a little bit about what we thought. Yeah. Um, I think both of you did a great job on the pork chop. All right. Jason, I'm real happy with how you used the sweet rub line. The apple chipotle flavor really came through. That garlic glaze on there was awesome. The piece I got was a little overdone, but I think it was a thinner end piece. It was a little thinner. I think some of the other thicker ones were a little bit better. I just happened to get one that was that way. The cauliflower, to me, had a good flavor, but it wasn't cooked properly. It wasn't, it was undercooked. I got, the first one I got was almost raw. The second two pieces I got were cooked a little more and they were better, but still, I think a little undercooked. The cucumber salad, eh, it, to me it just, I like all the ingredients. To me it didn't come together. It was, it still came off with just a bunch of raw ingredients in the dressing. So while the chop was good, I didn't care for the sides quite as much. But you did win the Sweet Swan of Mine Challenge, for sure. Brittany, you used the pork chop. I think you executed it perfectly. I mean, I think that glaze you put on top was absolutely incredible. I saw this Your one. side dish, I think for me, it was good, but the potatoes just wasn't, they were too, still too I hard. Agree. I agree. You know, but for today's challenge, though, Brittany, you're the winner. Congratulations. <laughs> My competitor, Jason, was amazing. If anything, he kept me motivated. I knew he was a tough competitor going in. The biggest thing and the trick to winning was to glaze the pork chops at the end. And we threw it together as fast as we could and I think that was the key to our win today. This was a lot harder than I ever thought it was gonna be. <laughs>
Elevate your barbecue with Royal Oak Lump Charcoal for the ultimate flavor experience. Royal Oak Lump Charcoal gives your food the authentic barbecue flavor you love. Since 1953, Royal Oak is the only brand proudly made in the USA from sustainably sourced natural hardwoods and nothing else. Don't be fooled by those imported brands made from irresponsibly chopping down whole trees. Unleash your inner pit master with Royal Oak and use the number one lump charcoal in America trusted by barbecue pros and backyard grillers. Hi, I'm Ronald Burns, and you're in barbecue country. Rainy day, Lebanon, Tennessee, in Fiddler's Grove, historic Americana. Did not slow barbecue country down. Looking for the best backyard cook in America. Two unbelievable pit master mentors two backyard cooks that showed up and showed off. Well, today, Brittany, Ronald, you came out on top. Tell me what you thought put you there. Well, you know, I'll tell you, we had a game plan from the beginning, uh, which was a quick game plan, but Brittany, uh, she executed uh, perfectly. Uh, yes, we had to take time out and, and take a back step, plan B, but it worked out great. Her, her side was phenomenal, and uh, it was a pleasure just sitting and watching her work. Brittany, unbelievable piece of Cheshire pork, bone in. What did you think when you saw it? Well, when you have a great product, you don't have to do a lot to it. So adding a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and making sure that it was nice and glazed and getting some sear marks on it, I think that's what gave us the win today. You guys made it shine. Well, there's winners, no losers in barbecue country. You guys were so close. I think the side was what just didn't make it for us today. What could you have done different? Uh, well, the sides are, I think, kind of what caught us off guard. Uh, had a little problem not getting the cauliflower quite as done as I wanted. But the Cheshire pork was a very good quality product, excellent flavor. We seasoned it well, and we cooked it well. I really liked his glaze. I thought it was really good. And I think, you know, for the amount of time that we had, I think we pulled together a really good pork chop. Yeah, had fun. Would do it again in a heartbeat. Yep. Well, guess what? You're gonna do it again. In the finale, we're asking you to come back and we're gonna show you off again. And we appreciate you being here today and cooking your hearts out. You guys, y'all moving on to the semifinals. Yep. You got a little bit of time to get ready. Yep. Can you yep. bring it one more time? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I've got confidence in my partner. She showed me today she's got ice water in her veins, so we're ready. Right, right on. Well, I've got host and the co-host bringing in a little something to depart with. All the brands. Oh. Guys, I think All right. everything we Thank gave you, you today, oh, right. yeah. party batch, barbecue country engraved, cherish these, a one of a kind, and you're in barbecue country. Hello. 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 Hello from Lebanon, Tennessee, historic Fillers Grove on the Opry stage. You're in barbecue country. We had a great time today, and it's only because of a fantastic product from Cheshire Pork. Well, I appreciate it, man. We Listen, I couldn't begin to tell you how much fun we had today. This is awesome. This show, this whole concept, this is amazing. It's a pleasure to be invited down here. And these chefs, these pit masters, they, were, they did an amazing job battling the elements. It was a really fun time. And it's, it's really cool to showcase our pork, a fourth generation farm, a small farm from Goldsboro, North Carolina. And we are really excited to be partnering with you guys. And this is just something that's just, we're over the moon about, man, to be honest with you. Well. These pit masters mentoring these backyard cooks teed it up. They did, they did an awesome job and it wasn't easy today. I mean, it's cold. I mean, the, the, all the elements they had to go against. I mean, it was just a, a real challenge today and they really surpassed our expectations. Did they do Cheshire pork justice in their cook? I think they really did. I think that they got to experience and play with some of this pork that they probably haven't experienced in the past. And it was really fun for them to see their reaction to them because it really is a, a high quality pork. You're talking about something that's, there's no injections, there's no hormones, there's, no, there's nothing. We like to say it's just pork. And the quality that we raise our hogs with, that's just something that we really pride ourselves in. And you know, to be honest, it was really fun watching these guys. I'm not envious of them because of all their uh, challenges and that kind of stuff, but it was fun to watch them and how the coaches helped them utilize all their products. But it was, it was something special for us to be uh, representing here today. We got a seven-time world champion, a recording artist, 
We're in the pit. We appreciate you being a partner. Uh, what do you guys think? Man, I'll tell you what. I love Cheshire pork, and I love party bash, baby. We're going to get into that in a little bit. We <laughs> <laughs> started now. Yeah. Appreciate you being here, man. No, thank you. Great uh, stuff. We enjoyed it. It was a pleasure, honestly, to be surrounded by you folks. I mean, it was it's a true humbling experience for us as a small, again, a small family farm. We're just trying to really showcase what pork is and what quality pork is. So we're excited to be teamed up with you guys. And this is just something fun for us so that we can grow our brand, obviously one. And but, you know, just to be accompanied by y'all. And this is something that's so cool. Competition brings out the best. And barbecue is such a, a world renowned thing. You know, you don't have your mama's barbecue anymore. You have people that are putting their own spins on it. And that's just really something fun for us to be a part of. Well, from historic Fiddler's Grove in Lebanon, Tennessee, this is Barbecue Country. Hey, we had a great cook here today in Barbecue Country. The next episode, we're gonna have Alan Smith and Richard Fergola mentoring our next round of Backyard Cooks. And they have the chance to win the title for America's Best Backyard Cook. We'll see you next time on Barbecue Country. for cast and crew are provided by Holiday Inn Express and Suites in beautiful Lebanon, Tennessee.